The word of God will be coming your way shortly. We believe this world will be able to turn your life around for the better. Please be kind enough to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Relationships. Do not give everyone access to your life at the same level. Please learn this. Learn this. You cannot afford. There are some of us, people come to our house, visit us. In five minutes, they are in your bedroom. When my wife wants to dress, this is where she stands. And then... Um, there's a particular cup. Hold on, I will show you. Have you seen our parents do that? A visitor comes to the house, say, come, come. There's something you must see. We have a boy's quarters. It doesn't stop here. And the man is watching. And he says, sir, uh, I am an importer and exporter. Uh, there are many things that I can do. What, what, how can I come into this? And in two days, you meet a strange man. You have struck a business deal with the man. Is that true? You have, you have given all your children and the cars as collateral, an association that began the cycle of poverty and penury in many families because of the carelessness of many of our parents. Hallelujah. A woman, you meet somebody and in five minutes, she knows the names of all your children, she knows the name of everybody, she even knows the challenge between you and your husband. I tell you, any lady that does that, you are, you are a bad lady. You don't have virtue. That you sit down and lambast your husband in the, in, in, in the face of a stranger. At once. In five minutes. He already knows everything about you. He knows that, okay, there is a problem in your family. He knows that your first child is stubborn. You know that the second one is better than the third one. What did the person tell you about his own life? And those people just keep quiet. They keep saying, really? While you are lying and you are just continuing. And then five minutes later, you find out that somebody calls you and says, you mean you said this about me? I'm disappointed. You say, no, 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 no. You can't quote those words back because they fell into the wrong ears. You gave an uncommon access to a common friend. Are we learning something? 1 Samuel 21, verse 2. I'd like us to read this projected. One to read. And David said to Ahimelech the priest, The king had commanded me a business, and had said unto me, What? Let no man know anything of the business whereabout I send thee, and what I have commanded thee. He said, I have appointed my servants to such and such a place. The king, wanting to do something, he knew that they were wicked people. The king was wise enough to know that not everybody is a loyalist. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The king knew that there are people who can kill him if they want to kill him. There are people who can do this and he found a man, David. Look at the level of relationship. He told David the secret. And he said, I have already sent some people to wait for you. Go and meet them there. Between you and them, nobody must hear this. gift of uncommon access. There are people who telling them anything about your life is the same thing as going to the radio station. Because immediately you tell them. In 20 minutes they've told 20 people and told the 20 people don't tell anybody. And the other people will run and say, I don't know you all if they, if they, I have never seen you. Let me tell you something about people. Most people will come into your life not because of who you are, but what they can get from you. Let me tell you, 95% of the people you will meet in your lifetime, and I say this without exaggeration, 95% of the, in church, in koinonia, everywhere, 95% of the people you will meet. Many of you love me today because of the spiritual impact. May God forbid, but if they have ever anything and they say there is a scandal between Joshua Selman and Zuera, you see, I, I always suspected. You see that the same people who say he's the king of kings, this is, this is my leader, I love him. Genuine people are scarce. Say it after me. Let me tell you something. Don't be deceived just by church, suits, pastor, apostle. Genuine people are scarce. If you find five of them in your lifetime, you are the most fortunate person. I 
and in ministry, I can tell you this. Genuine people are scars. That a man prays with you does not make him genuine. Integrity is a rare virtue. Purity and sincerity. A state of truth. Truism. Oh, there are very few people that have that thing. How many people can look at Shea and say, Shea, I love you. Immediately she closes the door. They say, truly from my heart, I love you. Just close it. I just did. Let her go. Let's continue talking. Christian. In my life, in my life, I want to be sincere with you. In my life, I've not met more than 11 of these people as a leader. No. Oh, I've seen all kinds. You don't want to know what people do to me. You know I've worked with a lot of people. 5,000 people wanted to make Jesus king the next day because they ate bread. Say bread. Who will not chase you if they will get free bread? And freedom from this wicked Roman, a man who brought money out of a fish mouth, why would you want to be his friend? But the moment they held Jesus Christ, see, the true proof of the quality of your association is when things are going bad in your life. That's why challenges are very important. Challenges forge your relationships. While Judas was looking at Jesus, Judas was just imagining, how can I allow this man to just go like that. Judas was not necessarily a bad man. He just was not um, a sincere person. He wanted to do business with Jesus. That's all. Make money with his anointing. And it just happened that it backfired. That's why he didn't do anything with the money. Bought a place and hung himself. Are we learning something tonight? The king told David, be quiet. And David was faithful. Listen, how many of you in this place, don't lift your hands, can say, I am dependable and reliable? When, I was, when the Holy Spirit was talking to me about this, I felt like dying. I'll, you know, I told you how God deals with me. I'll finish preaching first and then go back and say, you're finished, Abi. Oh yeah, enter. And he closes the door and now I receive my own flogging out of all of this. How many of you can say I am genuine? You can trust me with an information and I will not disappoint you. I tell you, 95% of those who want to lift their hands now are liars. If you try, that's why I'm saying save yourself from more sin because we are going to repent after this whole session. Hallelujah. Do you know that genuine people are scars? Genuine people, true people, not holy people. Not tongue talkers. Genuine people. You can look at a man and see the purity of his spirit. That a man is pure. If he tells you God bless you, he truly meant God bless you. No strings attached. Genuinely. If you are wrong, he says truly you offended me. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. And you say I'm forgiving you. And he meant Ah of common people. If I find if I find a genuine man in my life, I can pay him one million naira per month to stay with me. That's how desperate I search for genuine people. Amazing. I know people today who are the personal PAs of great men not because of what their degree gave them. Their sincerity earned them a position that degree could not give them. I prefer a faithful people a faithful person to a gifted person. Part of the questions for the school of ministry exam is for them to explain the statement, a gifted rebel is not an asset. No matter how gifted you are, look at Jesus. When it was time for Jesus to choose men, look at the kinds of people he chose. Are you seeing that? Look at the sincerity. Jesus went to a woman who had seven husbands. And although physically speaking, her life was messed up, he saw that this was a genuine woman. He sat with her because he saw her sincerity. Are you getting blessed? Matthew Levi in our world would have been called a dubious 419er. Is that true? Yahoo person. But Matthew Levi, when he met Jesus Christ, something happened to him. How about Zacchaeus? 
Zacchaeus. So in the midst of his corruption, he was just doing it because, maybe out of pressure, but from his heart, he was true. When he climbed to see Jesus, and Jesus said, Zacchaeus, it's your house I'm going. I've seen something in you. And immediately he went. What did he say? He carried all of, he said, all the money of all the people, I will return the tax that I collected on duty. Sincerely. In your lifetime, I am telling you this. Be careful when people clap for you and say, King of kings and Lord of lords. Because when things go wrong, they will shout, crucify him. They will say it to your face. I'm the one saying it. Eben is me. Crucify her. Many of us have not learned that wickedness is real. We have not been trained to be wise. Are you getting me now? You see some of our parents do some things that look childish. And to us, we just feel, come on, what's there? Because a guy comes to Koinonia, he just invites you. He says, come to my house. You can come spend weekends. Say, oh, I know. You are a clean brother. Really? Based on what? Where did you get that instruction? Are you getting blessed? You must not give everybody the same access to your life. Number two, learn to keep secrets until the time is due and the atmosphere is right to speak. You don't have to say everything happening in your life at the moment. You must first and foremost wait until there is a due season. Not every information is for everybody. We believe you have been greatly blessed by this message. Please show kindness by liking, commenting and sharing this message to your social media handles so that others can also benefit. God bless you. See you again soon.